Hey everyone, it's Miss Sandy here. I'm actually sitting outside of the um, library. I wanted to come and pick up a book um, that I had on hold. And um, I didn't realize they have a farmer's market going on right now. And so, um, honestly, there's way too many people here for me today. I really was... Um, considering whether or not I should do this video because um, um, this is not my best day. Um, I actually take a medication called methotrexate and it's used for some cancers and severe arthritis and some autoimmune diseases, Crohn's disease, MS, lupus, things like that, when other meds aren't working. And so I take it once a, a week and um, on Fridays. And then I know that Saturdays and Sundays, there's um, that um, those days are not going to be good days. They're just going to be really rough. My brain is super slow, um, really, really slow. So it makes it really hard to hold conversations or to follow conversations. Um, just because of how slow my brain goes. So a lot of times I, I won't answer the phone, not because I don't want to talk to that person, just because it takes too much energy to try to focus and um i'm a little shaky right now because of how many people are here i i totally bombed this normally i don't go anywhere on these days at all because <laughs> of how slow my brain is functioning but um I wanted to get this book before they put it back on the shelf. And so anyway, please excuse my messy vehicle. <laughs> um, and I wasn't going to do the video, but I decided, you know, instead of trying to describe in detail how a bad day is for me, I'm sure you can tell just by the it would be better just to come on and let you get a glimpse of what it's like. I went into the library and I I, I thought I was going to be able to pick some books or whatever. Um, but I saw this guy was following me every row I went into. And um, so I, 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 I had to get out. Um, I had to get out. And it's time to go home because I'm not doing too well. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What do you, how do you like to use the library? Do you use the library? Um, I love to be able to go to their app, find out if they have the book and then place it on hold. They pull the book out and um, then all I need to do is come pick up the book and check it out. And that's my lazy way of doing it. <laughs> um, I know some people love the hunt for a good book. I get so overwhelmed by all the books on the shelves that I just get frustrated and say forget it. Um, but anyway, that's how my trip to the library went. I wouldn't call it a success. And I am actually going to get my butt home because, yeah, I don't think I'm doing too well today. Um, so I will catch you when I get back home. Hey, everyone. It's Miss Andy, and I'm back home. Um, thank God. I have not had that experience that I had in the library in quite a while um it was pretty bad i had to i had to get out um
I don't know whether that guy was actually following me or not, but I certainly thought he was. And, um, and it felt like he was, he was just way too close to me. I mean, I don't understand why people want to get in your bubble, you know, like they don't respect personal space. I love the six foot rule we had what a couple years ago we had to stay six feet apart i love that no one was up on your back at the grocery store that was awesome <laughs> i kid you not um and now it's right back to the way it used to be people are in your bubble they come up right on your back and i don't do well with that at all i do better than i did today goodness but um i think it's because I normally do not go out when I um, take the methotrexate uh, for two days, and this is why. Uh, my heart is still pretty, it's pretty tight, my chest, and I'm really, really shaky. That it, it really did shake me up. I, I don't know. And I did my breathing exercises, but um, for quite a while, actually, in the car, and um, so that just shows you that breathing exercises work most of the time, but not necessarily all the time, right? Sometimes it's just out of our control. But even when you're doing deep breathing and we think they're not working, it's still getting oxygen to our blood and oxygen to our brain. So, I mean, there's benefits, just not what we're wanting at that time, right? I guess. I hope this makes sense. Again, the only reason I'm doing this is I I want this channel to be positive and I want to promote positivity. I want to uh, share things that will give people hope, um, that will inspire people, that will motivate people, that will show that we can change who we are, what we think, our perceptions can change, no matter what our age is. We can always better ourselves, right? At 60, at 50, at 70, at 40, we still can change for the better because um, we're constantly learning, right? But um, I also want it to be real and i'm telling you this is pretty real you guys <laughs> um my head hurts it, it it it's it's um one of those days so um i wanted to share something else with you i just don't remember what it is oh the um my kitchen is a disaster and it really needs to be cleaned up and I have I mean I'm fortunate I have um, someone that comes in and helps me with the cleaning um, but uh, on Saturdays and Sundays I try to uh, limit what she has to do and so um, What I've done when when my kitchen is like it is right now, like it's got stuff all over, is I, I'll get it done today, um, but sometimes I do it one dish at a time. Or sometimes I'll just take care of the trash. And then later on, I'll do a dish or two. And sometimes it turns to three. I have a dishwasher. So sometimes it'll turn to two or three. Um, I'm old school. I like to, you know, <laughs> scrape everything off, almost wash it before I put it in the dishwasher. But anyhow, um, that's how I'll get it done. You know, if you have like a ton of clothes that need to be done and you're just so overwhelmed, do one load of clothes, you know. And sometimes that'll give you enough energy to do a second load of clothes. But even if it doesn't, you still got that one load done 
right? So you've accomplished something or we've accomplished something. Um, maybe the whole, like my whole apartment is a disaster. Um, I would pick one area to do. Maybe the counters. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe my brain died. You know what? I don't even know where I was going. That means it has to be time to end this. Um, this is what it looks like um, for me on Saturdays and Sundays when I'm having a bad day. Um, it is what it is, I guess. I just, um, if this video has given you some insight, I don't know, helped you, um, please click the like button. Um, if you've made it this far, I give you a gold star <laughs> and, uh, click the subscribe and the notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Um, I am, if you haven't seen the link on, um, breathing exercises I use, I will put the link to that video, um, in the comments, um, you know, breathing exercises, they help most of the time. Um, I think today was partially my mistake because I knew better than to go out when, I'm, when, when, when my brain is like this because I, I don't trust myself. I don't trust, um, I don't trust anything about myself like that dude. I, I swear he was following me. <laughs> um, but um, and just mentioning it again, I get that same horrible feeling. It's really, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But that video, normally breathing exercises work for me. Um, and so it, it I mean, I guess you got to see that sometimes they don't, you know, but we do what we can do and then try to make it from there, right? So I think that's it. Thank you for watching and be safe and be blessed.